Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mia, and if you're a returning subscriber, you already know what the deal is. What's good, y'all? Today's video is going to be a wash and go video. As you can see from the title, I have styled my hair in a fresh wash and go. This is day one hair. I literally just did it, and you can see for yourself that the curls is popping, you know, super defined super fresh super shiny like sh we're, we're living we're living and uh, i styled my hair using two new products for the first time last week on my insta stories and i got so many dms from you guys um asking me to record a video so shout out to y'all of uh, those of you who uh follow me on instagram and support me here on youtube as well like y'all have a special place in my heart um and you know just let's start off with some housekeeping stuff if you're not already subscribed to my channel like we're just we're gonna take a moment of silence and allow you to do that right now the button is you know right there go ahead okay now let's get into this video um as you can see like i said my hair is super defined and i am so happy with the results honestly this is probably my most defined wash and go ever so if you want to see how i styled this look then just keep watching okay i know i look crazy with this plastic bag on my head but i couldn't find a shower cap so stall me out um to start i have already washed and conditioned and detangled my hair um and i applied my leave-in conditioner off camera and i put this plastic bag on because i didn't want my hair to dry out as i was setting up um my camera and lights and stuff to record this video really quickly the leave-in conditioner that i used was the kinky curly not today leave-in conditioner and I just applied that um, to my hair while it was soaking wet so um, and then I put this bag on immediately after so my hair should be pretty damp still um, when I'm doing a wash and go I have to have my hair like super duper drenched in order to get really defined curls so I'll also have my spray bottle right here because I know I'm gonna have to um, reapply water as I am going the products that I will be using for this wash and go are the Diva Curl Super Cream. Is that focusing? I think so. And the Main Choice uh, Braid Out Glaze. So, okay. First of all, let me just say that I am obsessed. Wait, I don't think you guys can see that. But in any case, you know it's a Main Choice hair product in a blue bottle. Um, but let me just say, I have been obsessed with this. Like, I have been using this for three strand twist outs and braid outs. And I saw a video on YouTube of um, Kimberly Sherelle, and she actually did a wash and go with this product. And I was like, oh, okay, let me try that too. Because it's so thick and tangy that, <laughs> tangy, um, tacky that I already assumed that it would be really good for a wash and go. I just never tried it. But, when I sh like the consistency is so great and it's so like gooey um, and like I said it's like really slimy so it's just perfect for holding curls and helping them clump together <laughs> I look like a bad little kid like on the playground that had the little two hair balls or random hair balls missing like but let's get into this clavicle situation though just kidding okay so we're just gonna start sorry your girl's been working out and is losing weight losing weight losing weight too but losing weight especially in my face and it's making me very excited first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna start with the back section i'm just gonna show you guys how i layer it on my hair in one section and then i'll just do the whole like fast forward um so you guys can just see how i do the whole head because that's gonna take too much time if I just do it in real time the entire time. But I'm just gonna take this down. Like I said, my hair is still pretty damp from um, the leave-in conditioner. So, but I, even with this, like I feel like people underestimate how wet your hair is supposed to be for a wash and go. Like in order for me to get the best results, my hair literally has to be like soaking wet. So even though this is still pretty damp, like this is not enough for me to get defined curls, but whatever. Okay, so for this section, um, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna divide this in half. And 
section it away. And I'm just gonna take this section and start with this first. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna take is the Super Cream from Diva Curl. Oh. I'm just gonna take a pretty small like amount of that and like I said I already have a leave-in conditioner on so I don't want too much of this particular product but I'm just using this for added moisture and I'm just gonna break that into my hair and I'm really like squeezing it and like helping it trying to melt into my hair Now I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle and make this section a lot more wet so I can go in with the braid out glaze. You see like my hair is like literally dripping right now. So I'm just gonna go into the main choice um, and like I said, it's really, really tacky, so you really don't have to use a lot. I literally just take these first three fingers and just kind of press it into the product, and then whatever gets on my hands, like that's what I use. Like I don't really, you don't really need to scoop it um, because, like I said, it's so tacky. And to apply this, I found that it's best to use the prayer hands. I don't rake this product into my hair like I do the super cream because I need a little bit more on the back side um doing the prayer hands really helps the curls to like clump together so I just take my time and like I said really just press it and if I feel like it needs a little bit more water first section looks then I'm just gonna speed through the rest of it Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I have added all of my product to it. Um, I need a haircut, so ignore the bangs. They're doing whatever it is they want to do. Um, but one thing I will recommend, I would recommend if you're going to use the braid out glaze um, to do a wash and go, just make sure you're adding a lot of water to your hair. I know I said that before, but I really want to stress that if you don't, your curls are going to be 
really defined, really clumped together, but they're gonna be very stiff. Um, the braid out glaze, because it's so tacky, needs a lot of water to be added to it as you're spreading it on your curls so that they, um, it can help maintain the movement of your hair. Like, look at my hair, like, stiff wears. Obviously it's still wet, so obviously it's gonna move, but even once it dries, I'll still have a lot of body and movement, which is what I like about using these products. Um, so just like I said, just make sure that you're using um, a lot of water to help spread the product out and evenly distribute it along your curl. Side view. Nope. So you guys can get a little texture shot. And if you want to lift check, my hair is right at the bottom of my neck, wet. I will come back to you guys after my hair is completely dry, which is going to take a while. All right, that brings us to the end of this video and these are the final results. Um, like I said, I'm so, so happy that I stumbled upon these two products and paired them together. Shout out to Kimberly Sherelle um, for putting me on because it was her video that made me decide to give these a try and like, the results basically speak for themselves. Definitely, if you are looking for a new products to try a wash and go, like check these out, you know, give them a shot, we'll see. Um, as far as I know, I'm gonna get this question, as far as my hair type and my curl type, I honestly do not know. I don't really subscribe to that particular uh, lifestyle of the natural world. Um, I'm just, whatever my hair likes is what I give it, I don't really, get products that are for a certain curl type um so if you think you know what my curl type is from this video by all means leave me a comment and let me know but i personally have no idea that's basically all i have for this video i mean you guys can see the awesome like what more is there to say you know so um yeah that's basically it you might as well you know you stuck around this long you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can be you know, a part of the fam and be ready for, I have a lot of content coming up, so be ready for some new videos. I'm super excited. We're gonna end the year with a bang and then by, by the time 2020 come around, like, all, all I'm gonna say is that you wanna stick around for 2020 because I am turning 25 next year and I already have like basically the whole year's content planned out. So, you know, we going on trips, so we gonna have vlogs um, I'm going to Coachella for the first time, so, like, sis, join the family, because, I mean, you're going to want to see that Coachella vlog. You, I mean, you, sh you might as well. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.